Hey Curie Physics students, Mr. Crone, and uh, here to help you collect the second law of lab data. Before we take a look at the data collection, I thought we could look at some of the equipment that we're going to be using, just so it'll be a little bit more clear in your mind exactly how this is going to work. Uh, I'll be collecting the data and I'll be showing it to you. As I go to different forces and different masses, I'll be showing you the velocities that I've collected so that you can get the, um, so that you can calculate those accelerations. So the first the most important part is this lab cart. Very, very low friction. I have the cart leveled really nicely. It moves very, very easily. When I give the cart a push, you can see there's not a lot of friction there. The cart is connected to a small thread, which goes through the end, and then it's connected to a pulley that I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, I have three additional weights that I'll be using. There's a 20 gram mass, there's a 50 gram mass, and a 100 gram mass. These masses will hang off the thread at the other end, and that's going to allow us to apply a force to the whole system. It's really important that you understand the system is not simply the cart and the string, it's everything that's connected to that. Once I hang the masses on the other end, everybody will move together, everyone will have the same acceleration, and I'll need to count that as part of the total mass. So the way we'll get the velocity of this thing is that I have a small piece of cardboard taped to the end of the, of the cart, and then I have photo gates on the other side. Let me pull you in just a little closer so you can see it more clearly. So the lab cart, I will have weights sitting on top. All three of these weights will sit on top of here. Whenever they're not on the string, they have to sit on the cart because they're going to be part of our total mass. So we'll have the cart, which I've already weighed, and I'll give you the mass of that in just a moment, plus the three masses, 20 grams, 50 grams, and 100 grams. Over on this side, we have the photo gates. So they'll be sitting right here. That allows them so that I can set them up very quickly and easily for the cart to go through, trigger the gates, I'll flip them over, I'll come over and show you the initial velocity, and then I'll show you the final velocity. And those are the two that you'll need to record as we go through the data collection. Now just to be sure that the masses are really right, let me just show you real quickly. I've already tested these to make sure that the three masses that we're going to use are accurate. So we have, sorry, the 20 gram mass. This is the 20 gram mass. Put this guy on the scale. So exactly 20.0. We have a 50 gram mass. These guys look like they're really beat up, but as you can see, as weights, they work great. So exactly 50, and lastly, we have the, the 100 gram mass. You can see exactly 100 grams. Okay, so these are our three masses. They'll be sitting here on the cart. So as I collect the data, I'll be bringing it over to you to show you. We'll be starting with the 20 gram mass. So in your data table, you'd want to be on the 20 gram mass. I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the thread. On this end over here, I have something that, believe it or not, is called a super pulley. It's called a super pulley because it's very, very low friction. If I start this guy spinning, he'll probably spin for about a minute before it stops. Uh, and that's really important because that's one of the controls of our experiment. We don't want any other forces to be interfering with what we're doing. So let me show you real quickly what I have set up over here. Hopefully you can see this clearly. So we have the lab cart. As I pull on that lab cart, you'll see the little brass weight down there connected to it. That guy moves with it. Everybody moves together because they're connected to the same string. So at this point now, I will not be changing the mass of the system. Everybody is there and accounted for. I have the 20 gram mass down at the bottom, and then I have the uh, 50 and the 100 gram mass are sitting here in, in the cart. I'm gonna push them to the back of the cart. That way when the cart accelerates forward, the masses won't slide around. They'll be already at the back of the, of the cart. So at this point, we're set up with the first mass. We're using the 20 grams. That's going to be our hanging mass, and I'll get you the velocities. Just let me get the camera back in place. All right, and here we go. All right, so for 20 grams, our initial velocity is 0 0.33, final velocity 0 0.39. Okay, that's the last one I'm going to read. I'm just gonna bring them over here. I'll pause for a second at the initial and the final velocity, and I'll just remind you which mass that we're talking about, which hanging mass are we looking at. 
So let's reset these guys. Here we go. This is for 50 grams. This is for 50 grams. Hanging mass of 50 grams. There's your initial velocity. There's your final velocity. Reset. Okay, so this time, in order to get 70 grams, I'll place the 20 and the 50 both on the hanging mass over there. All right, so here we go for 70 grams. This is for 70 grams. There's your initial velocity and the final velocity. Reset. This time I'm going to take the 20 and the 50 off and I'm going to place the 100 on there. All right, this is 100 grams hanging mass. Initial velocity, final velocity. All right, reset. So now we're going to 120 grams. I'm going to add the 20 down there at the bottom. All right, here we go at 120 grams. Here we go. Initial velocity, final velocity. Okay, so this time <clears throat> I still have I still have the hundreds hanging on there, but I took the 20 off and put the 50 on. So now that's a total of 150. This is our second to last mass. Second to last hanging mass. Here we go, guys. Initial velocity. This is for 150 grams hanging mass. Final velocity, 150 grams hanging mass. Okay, this is with all the mass are now hanging on the string. We're at a total hanging mass of 170.
and here are our final uh, velocities. This is for 170 grams hanging mass, initial velocity, final velocity. Okay, now we'll go on to part two.